cheese giving so anywho hello 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 welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you are new here i am daquana white i bring you plus size fashion content as well as lifestyle and beauty content so today's video is brought to you by asof you already know the vibes this video will come a little bit lighter in comparison to all the other videos but you guys are still going to get this heat okay i do have a coupon code with asof which is d dash white 25 everything that i try on will be linked down below um i think that's all the housekeeping let's just go ahead and hop in because i'm super duper excited so the first thing we have is this dress here oh and clearly the elephant in the room i am not in my typical filming setup so yeah apologize for that uh, my apologies okay we'll be back this week because i think it's going to be two videos in one week for asap but um here we have this first dress and i was scared of her she didn't have as much stretch as i thought she would have but when i put her on i was like oh my gosh like this is gorgeous i love the detailing i will come up and show you at the end and it feels so good you know sometimes sequin and shiny and sparkly and who's glitter calling me? like who's calling me i need to put my phone in D, &D. anywho sometimes sparkly and glitter and sequin can be very itchy very uncomfortable but this feels so nice i think it has like a a velvet or furry like layer underneath and it feels so good no itch at all so i love the one sleeve type of vibe but then the sleeve itself has a cutout this cutout here i want to say i tried something similar from asap but i could be tripping but this this is gorgeous it's gorgeous and it has a zip detail here on the side so you don't have to worry about fussing with the back of it and it is kind of short it's definitely kind of short okay um but I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's not too, too bad. Um, you guys know I'm 5'4". I keep my measurements on my site, dwlooks.com. Measurements are always there um, if you want all of that. But yeah, this this is a vibe. This is so cute. I love it. Can I want... Uh, I love it. Okay, let me show you the details. Let me show you the details. Okay, so hello? Hello? What we have is this faux leather brown two-piece set i might have it on backwards because i wanted the zipper to be in the front but then i realized with this part unfolded this would like mess with my chin so it's like a really high up piece so i didn't know how i felt about that so i just tucked it in so for my comfort um again i think this said moderate stretch but i've been trying things from asap that has moderate stretch and it seems to work out pretty fine especially with the faux leather so i was happy to be able to get this on you know first thing i do pull it out see if it has stretch if not then i let it go but this one actually okay she's interesting she's interesting um definitely, definitely not, not something i would gravitate towards definitely out of my norm but I just wanted to see if I could get it on and show you all. Again, I try on things for you, not just for me, because some of these things you guys might be interested in. So this does have like a poof shoulder detailing. And then again, it has that full zip, which may belong in the back. I'm not sure. And it does have this belt that you can tie if you want to, to define the waist a little bit more and make the shirt more like a little slight peplum crop. Um, and I do love the pants. I do feel like they stick out on their own. They could have like a separate bodysuit, a nice overcoat. I think you can definitely do something with the pants alone and with the top alone. I just feel like I wouldn't wear these two pieces together. And as you know, faux leather can be really, really warm. Also, I'm 5'4", so I want to make sure you guys can see. Um, it comes far oh, below my feet. I love the length of the pants. Because it's leather, I would want it a little bit shorter. But yeah, this is how the back is looking. Definitely a fitted set. So yeah, that is this one here. Okay, so here we have this number and she's cute. She's cuter than I thought she would be. I kind of thought it would be like a really cheap, like stretchy material and the print would like fade away. And like I said, I don't just think that <laughs> about ASOP, but sometimes when you see these dresses and you see the styles, um you somewhat have like an assumption in your head about it and how it's going to be and fit so i actually like this one <laughs> this one's actually really really cute um and i have on like a no support bra and panty i know i like to be comfy <laughs> when i'm doing my try ons um i don't like to put on shapewear and things that's gonna <sighs> like that's not me 
that's just not me so i like to see how it's gonna look on an actual natural body um and if you choose to put on shapewear underneath then that's what you can do but yeah i like the length of this one this is a nice midi dress i like that it's long sleeve i love the print in the middle like i said it's not my typical go-to style but um I really don't wear leopard and cheetah unless it's like a fur coat or something. So I was impressed with this and I was impressed and I could definitely put on uh, maybe a three quarter length legging or a short or something underneath if I do want to be more snatched. I do like the line work in it. So, okay, it's giving body yada yada. But yeah, this is how it's looking back here. Come all the way up. So yeah, and it feels like a meshy material, but it doesn't seem sheer in any aspect. Like I don't see through anything, but it feels like a mesh spandex material. Okay, cause I was putting this dress on and I was like, wait, hold on, pause. Cause this could be a really cute skater dress. I thought that'd be so cute. And by the way, I will have the pictures come up or pop up of the items I tried on. Cause people tend to love my, what you see versus what you get or what I order versus what I got on like TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. So I'm going to do that kind of here on YouTube because um, sometimes I refer back to the model and I'm like, eh, it's not given what the model gave. And you guys are like, well, we want to see it on the model. So even though I leave those links down below for people to click on and you can go see it on the model, I'll still just put the picture so we can have a side by side reference. But here we have this dress and it actually goes like, I haven't seen how it looks in its full length. But it's actually a longer dress, so. All right, I think this is how it goes. So this is how the original dress is supposed to look probably a little bit longer. And I like it this way, but I feel like I just love it the other way. But this is super cute too, okay. Oh, she's giving body. I like it, I actually like it more than I thought I would. Now, like I said, the only thing is I just, sometimes when it comes to like these types of dresses, where it's supposed to give you that mermaid flare out at the bottom, sometimes it never works for me. Like I, don't, I think the flare just doesn't be like, in the right place. They'll have it up here and it's like, how am I gonna get a flare right at the bottom of my stomach? It's not gonna give, but I actually like this one. She's cute and I love the colors. It's definitely giving autumn, Thanksgiving, fall type of vibes, you know holiday dinners and whatnot so yeah that is this i will say i can see like where the lines are i don't know if that's on purpose but the patterns don't match up uh where the lines are but like i said i that may be on purpose and at the bottom it kind of starts to swirl around a little bit so yeah that is this one here she's cute lightweight meshy stretch material but doesn't feel or look like super cheap that's what I like. Okay, so I love, love, love this color and the material is so freaking soft. It's really, really nice. So here we have this. I wanna say I have something similar in like a olive green color from ASOF, but it's short sleeve. So I like that they came out with the long sleeve for the fall and the winter. One thing I really love is how long this top is and the back comes over the button. I told you guys in a recent haul, like I haven't really had much items like fall how they're supposed to fall on like i want it to be a long tunic type top i want it to come over the butt and it doesn't always do that but i like that here recently i have been getting items where i get that over the butt so i love that and then we have just this high waist type legging vibe i like that it is something that i feel like i would want to have something cover the butt because it does feel like a thinner item and i'll keep these on for the next top which is really interesting and out of my league out of my range <laughs> okay but yeah i like this i like the vibrant color and like i told you all you can still be bright bold vibrant in the freaking fall and winter just because it's cold outside doesn't mean we have to only wear brown gray and freaking black so yeah that is this two-piece set really really comfy i could see it being dressed up or dressed down I actually find this quite interesting and I feel like it's definitely something I would have wore for Halloween. Like I would wear this to a theme piece, like have something gothic or something like that and I would wear it. Not to say anybody who is gothic or 
you know, I always talk about alternative and emo and things like that. Not to say this is only, you know, their style, but it's given like witch. It's given, I don't want to say costume because I could see it dressed up. Anywho, I could see it dressed up and not being so costumey. Like, I feel like it has more potential. Like, a pop of color pant like I have on, I would do probably a silver or like a metallic type of vibe underneath gold or something and then have like gold or silver whatever metallic accessories maybe a crown maybe a masquerade ball something like that i feel like this has so much potential um, i also see it being paired with if i was to wear that silver dress underneath um just the skirt part and probably had a the top part tucked in or something but i feel like something sparkly underneath something mini underneath so that you're still feeling covered with the tool here but you're still a little bit naked so yeah she's interesting she's fully buttoned up here and then down here it does have like this split feature so you can have it kind of open or wear it completely closed and crossed over definitely an interesting piece let me back all the way up i just don't want the lighting to go out that's why i'm kind of talking up there i swear natural lighting is kind of foreign to me now i'm not used to it no more but this is how this item is looking. Very, very interesting. Let me know what y'all think down below. Because I'll be trying on different pieces, but people be like, ah, 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 Like, they be doing the most. But anywho, let me know what y'all think about this. It's very interesting to me. Okay, so I love this. I love the color. I thought it would be more like a whiny type of maroon. This one's giving more like a burgundy, uh, like purple-ish undertone and not the red type undertone if y'all get what i'm saying i just thought it would have a little more red in it but it seems to have like a little more purple in it like but either way it's really really cute i love this i actually really love wearing like maroons wines burgundies i think it looks so sultry so sexy like i just love it so here we have this two-piece set clearly we're talking about it already um it's like this maxi skirt it does have pockets so we love that for us. Of course, I'll back up and show you the length in a second. Um, the top here is fully functional wrap top. But I really like that you can't see my bra or anything. Like, I was able to wrap that up really, really good. So, I can appreciate that. And I also don't get that the back is lifting it up too much. Because you guys know sometimes when it comes to maxi skirts and dresses, the back could rise up because of the butt. So, let me back all the way up give you guys the length covers my feet i love that and then this is how it looks in the back right so it's actually like really covered to be a two-piece set like i love this and i feel like i may have had it in another color from asol all right so here we have this two-piece pants set and y'all know one of my favorite things and i'm like thinking about my closet i'm like do i already have this I know I have it in like pink, a dark pink, a light pink. Um, I have a maroon version of it, but it's like a three piece, but it's still the same stretchy like material. It's like a crinkled stretch material. I love this so much. It just feels so nice on. And it has, this has pockets by the way. So yeah, does have pockets. I love that you can button the blazer and not feel like it's suffocating you and your yitties. Like, I really, really love this. I just have a bra underneath, but I would definitely put something else underneath if I was to wear, um, wasn't going for like a braless vibe. But yeah, they have two-piece sets like this, but then they have like these three-piece pantsuits and two-piece pantsuits like this as well. I love it. Every time I see it, I'm like, I need it. I literally have mustard white. I want to say I might have a black one, maroon, light pink, dark pink, like y'all one of my favorite things ever so um i love the blazer like i said i like that i have room enough room to button it and not feel like it's pulling it's not uncomfortable the pants do have this belt but you don't have to wear the belt if you don't want to there's no button it's just straight like stretch and elastic but it feels so like not cheap or spandexy or anything like that it feels so good like it feels high end it's giving luxury okay so anywho this is how it looks in the back the blazer does cover my butt for the most part and the pants are a little too long on me um 
and that's okay again y'all know when it comes to me and if it's this type of material i can just cut that off i can hem my own pants okay i still like that it goes over my foot and it's not too short i would rather it be too long than too short because i can't add material but i can definitely take some away and i probably could add some material but i'm not doing all of that <laughs> but anywho that is this definitely one of my favorites um one of my favorite suits and sets from asop and yeah i could live in these literally okay so here is the last set and this is so freaking comfortable i really like this shade of blue and i love wearing like a soft light blue in the winter because it's given icy you know it's given icy winter um i will say so up here with the hoodie we have this string right but then down here we just have like a regular blue drawstring and i thought it'd be cool if these same strings were down here and if these drawstrings had more room because sometimes i get scared that they're going to get sucked into the elastic band and yeah so um i would definitely have to like stretch these out a little bit they just seem like they come a little too low in the back like it dips a little too low it doesn't show butt crack i don't think <laughs> but it still gives me like if i bend over it's gonna be a little butt crack action um, it is a jogger, so it comes right at the ankle. So I like these. Like I said, I feel like I have some similar ones in this closet. Um, some similar ones. And yeah, I just would want them to be, again, a little have a little more stretch and a little loose and a little higher on. And I would just want this drawstring to be the same as this one because I thought that would give a really cute vibe. But I could definitely see this with some sneakers or some Uggs or something love of course that it has pockets here and then here as well um and i don't have too many like sweatsuits so yeah i'm trying to get that collection back up but that is this one here the material is really really nice i just want more room in the actual sweatpants but let me step back and do a full 360 the sun came back up if y'all can't tell but yeah that is this here so i want to thank you all for joining my a stop haul everything that i try on will be linked down below and everything is usually a 3x if not i will list that as well um on the screen when i try on each item as you guys know um next week or this week later this week i will be back in filming location but yeah, this was just like an on-site get her done type of thing. And I was like, yeah, I got to get y'all this hot fire regardless of where we at, right? But yeah, that is my ASOP haul for this week. Let me know your favorite piece down below. And let me know what you think about the witch top.